Check out this poor outdoorsman who foolishly tried to reason with a bear. Ooh. Quack. 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 Oh, oh, my God. God. oh, my God. That guy thought the best defense was to oh yell God. Al Pacino hua at a bear that was charging him? No, they say to do that. Now we know that's a, that's a lot. <laughs> Andrew, how would you feel if you were this man? I feel pretty stupid about bringing an arrow to try to hunt a bear. At but, what point do you yeah. put the cell phone down and make a run for it, too? <laughs> I know. He, he videotaped up to the point of actual bite. All right, guys, The Misery Index is a new game show where contestants can make a fortune out of other people's misfortune. Jamila Jamil stars as the show's host with the Tenderloins comedy troupe and stars of True TV's Impractical Jokers, Brian, Q, Quinn, James, Murr, Murray, Joe Gatto, Sal Vulcano, starring as recurring panelists, and to tell us all about it, they're all here except for yeah. Sal. Yeah! Yes! Yeah. 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 Where's Sal? You guys pulling a prank on him? He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. This is the new Sal. Yeah. 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 We upgraded Sal. Upgraded. We were like, you know what? We have to get rid of the weakest and bring in the best version. Right. Oh, I thought it was going to be me, but it was Sal. <laughs> <laughs> tandoori tenderloin. Nice. Tandoori. We, we, we had a surplus of chubby dudes. Yeah, so got we got rid of them. Uh, one, one chubby dude. Yeah, we yeah. got rid of them. Guys, the you only wear your achievements. <laughs> oh, <my Yeah>. <laughs> I do actually love the chemistry here, and I wouldn't have necessarily known. I watch Impractical Jokers all the time, and it's something that I don't, I don't know how this would all work out. No, no one did. No one did. You didn't either? <laughs> no, no. Well, let's break it down a little bit. In Misery Index, two contestants helped by two of you guys to kind of respond kind of like gauge each other's uh, misery and you get points. Yeah. I have a hard time describing it. Please describe it. Make me know more. <laughs> I mean, that's the only description I know. Well, yeah. Is that it? Well, it's two, contestants, it's two conce contestants, uh, and they basically rank, like, kind of which was worse between two miserable um, things that have happened ripped from the headlines. So real things that have happened to real people. and uh, Like a bear attack. Right, so exactly. It's a scale of 1 to 100. Yeah. Right. So basically, you have to figure and out this where. this is a real happens. scale. This is a real scale that psychologists and psychiatrists have put together, yeah. gauging what's most miserable in your life. And we work as consigliaries because nobody knows misery like us guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. Yesterday, after work, we were all crowded around my computer just watching it yeah. and laughing. It's it's hilarious. Sure. How did you three get involved? Well, we were actually uh, pinned by uh, the, the network had the show, and they were like, you know what? Let's get some guys that really bring two things, sex appeal and sex. humor. <laughs> so they weren't available. They weren't available. Yeah. We want somebody who's young, yes. who's on, in touch with yeah. the people. And most importantly, works cheap. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so, right, right. So, so it was like the phone rang and we came in. There you were. Uh, and, then, and then they said they needed a host to do, be the polar Take opposite of us. Okay, yeah. right. <laughs> How did it come to you and what was the, the appeal for you? They are the appeal for right, me yeah. because I think they are so funny and such wonderful people and I love their show so passionately. So it was a no-brainer. I said yes before I'd even done the audition. I was like, yes, please, I want to do it. I hadn't even met them yet. I was an instant yes. You all have great chemistry. Was it like that from the start? What yeah. was the, when you first met up with them, were there any icebreakers? Instantly. Yeah. Instantly. I yeah. made a joke about semen. That was it. That was oh, it. Done, done, Best done. friends that for life. Was what was the joke? At this point, she's made so many semen Yeah, we don't jokes. know which one it was. <laughs> I can't even tell you which one started at all. Yeah. But, but we went to lunch. We, we she, uh, it was actually, she was like, oh, we, the day of, it was like, uh, Let's go to lunch and, and meet and and it was it was uh, you know a little, not nerve wracking because I'm a huge Good Place fan but also you know you just don't know when you, we worked together for so long but yeah. within I would like minutes we were like this is it this is instant it instant chemistry it was instant instant yeah. I do feel like at this point you're kind of part of the troupe and perhaps we could see you work into the tour or something right like to have her show up would that be something she's Thank way you. too she's way too busy okay. she's way too busy we okay. were damaged I've got a lot of tweeting to do. Okay, right, 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 right. <laughs> Um, there's a lot of misery to go around on the show. Mm -hmm. For all of you, what are some of your favorite stories that you've covered? Oh, uh, hands down for me, and I think it was one that caught us all speechless, was when there was a, there, there was a funeral and there was a guy who uh, was a preacher and he was holding a dove and he said, you know, this dove represents the body of our friend here that has left his spirit to fly and he threw the bird and it died. And <laughs> no <laughs> way! I yeah. just hit the ground. That so it didn't awkward. even flap a wing. It was like, yeah. a, like it looked like a wooden dove. It was dove. almost like it was dead when he threw it. Yeah. Like it was dead. But it was threw it with such force and then it just <laughs> fell and then everybody went, oh, and everybody just looks at him and he's like, and what do you yeah, say? Yeah. That's, that's it, folks. That's all you got. Yeah. 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 Do you have a favorite? Um, I really like the woman who found out that her husband was being unfaithful, so she cut off his member. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, she ran out of the house. He had it reattached, and then she went 
uh, crept into the hospital and cut it off again. No oh. way! <laughs> threw it out the window. That's dedication. Oh, that was pretty. That's insane. Yeah. I mean, it is. It is. Well, I'll give you the first one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, dedication. Wait, you that's should security. You, know I mean? you shouldn't give him the, or the first one. <laughs> no, 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 right. I don't that's think a deal breaker. Should be cheating. I don't think people should be cheating. No, I agree. So and if you're gonna get. Oh, you. so Jeremy. Jeremy has a thing about elevators. Can someone tell the elevator story? Oh. Do you remember that one? No, I don't. Are you drunk? Are you, yeah. are you making this up? Is that happening to you? in an elevator overnight. Was it a Christmas and song? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, 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 that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yes. There were so many miserable events. No. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. It was, you got stuck in an elevator. Uh, you got stuck in an elevator with a Mariah Carey Christmas playing overnight. All I want for Christmas is you. Yeah. Yes, yes. All that night. doesn't sound like a punishment to me. No. No, 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 no. I love that song. I start yeah. listening to that in June to get myself yeah. ready. For it's the like alone season. time and perfectly <laughs> ushers in the holiday season. Yeah. No, I'm with you. Yeah. Yeah, miserable. it's pretty terrible. Yeah, Jeremy so got stuck in an elevator. I did. That's I got why I tragically, it but it, only, it crashed too. It wasn't just like stuck. It was. Oh. It was a. It was a thing. Anyway. You look yeah. great. Thank you. Wait, I made how, it through. Long, how long were you in there? Uh, like an hour. But but the elevator like crashed into something on the way. It was like doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah. doors split open, dust comes in. Yeah. Very frightening. So what's that on the misery index? Well you survived, so Yeah. But like they pried the doors oh, open and it's like like Well you're, you're, you're clearly tra wait, wait. you're traumatized, right? Because like every time you get an elevator you think of that moment. I do. Right. That's so, yeah. actually true. 60? Yeah. yeah, sixty. Yeah. Sixty yeah. 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 So that seems high. Yeah. I'm, that's I'm okay. High. I'm still riding Yeah, but you're still talking about it. your penis. Like I do still have that. So could No, but we all see problems you don't. So it's sixty. <laughs> really, you don't get to guess publicly, but are you always kind of trying to guess? Are you good at the guessing of the misery index? No, you're not. Because I'm a sociopath. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so I don't think anything deserves over a ten. <laughs> you do. She does sometimes. She did sometimes do this thing with her face where she did disagree and she couldn't like hold it. She hold it. She just go. Mm. <laughs> okay, let's see what like, Did she have a moment like a couple times? Is I will say. Is it like a sociopath in your family though? You know what I mean? Mm. Like when someone doesn't react to like true trauma, I think you can really tell some stuff. I think we're gonna yeah. break up some families. <laughs> <laughs> Congrats on the show. It's so much fun. Thank it's, you. Yeah, it's really fun to watch. Um, real quick, Jamila, good, the good play is coming to an end after mm -hmm. four seasons. Mm -hmm. When you look back, you have a favorite memory from set. Yes, Ted Danson taught me how to slow dance, like the old oh. fashioned movies. Oh. Oh. Uh, and it was like 1 a.m. and there were fairy lights all around and Nat King Cole's Unforgettable was playing and he's twirling me around oh, like a princess. Cool. And I was like, wow, I will never <laughs> recover from this moment. Yeah. It is a moment. Wow, Sam Malone still got it. Yeah. <laughs> I just uh, brought these in so they could see what a real long stem beauty looks like. <laughs> Impractical wow. Jokers, uh, Impractical Jokers back for season nine. Yeah, right soon. We yeah. still got season eight on the air. Season eight on the air, yeah. It's, it's crazy at this point, you guys are so well known and famous. Is it has it actually become more difficult to pull this off? Well, no, we basically just before every shoot, we just teach other each other how to slow dance. Oh, okay. yeah. right. That really gets us in the minds. <laughs> no, it's New York City. There's enough people here that yeah. you know, if somebody recognizes you, you push them along and get them. Yeah. We also have very forgettable faces, yeah. which, <laughs> which helps. Two, two words that describe our faces are punchable and forgettable. Okay. Yeah. Right. So we That's work right. within that. Yes. All right. Yeah, and Jamila, you've done so much to call out double standards when it comes to beauty standards in the industry. I love following you on Twitter. You made a lot of movement in that field. Uh, what's the latest thing that you're trying to tackle? So I just managed to get Facebook and Instagram with the help of like experts and, and charities to uh, no longer allow minors to be able to see any kind of diet or detox products or cosmetic surgery procedures that are being sold on Instagram and they can now be easily reported and taken down if you are over 18. So all the fad diet stuff is going and now we're going to move that just off social media into legislation and we're going to a government level to get these products just off the market. You can't sell strange powders to children mm -hmm. over the internet. It's amazing and I, I've tracked along and you made so much progress. So when I saw that and I saw that you could go to the Instagram, you couldn't even see the, the Instagram mm -hmm. post. I was so happy. Thanks. And also you do it with humor as well because you made these hilarious videos. Did you, have you guys seen the videos she's done about the oh, detox yeah. teas where she's on the toilet? Yes. Yes, yeah. yes we have. I am pooing fire. Yeah. 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 Well, you know what's great is that, so my boyfriend, he, uh, is a Grammy winning producer oh. and he edited the uh, sound. I don't know what that has oh, to do really? with the story. He edited all of the oh, okay. <laughs> 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 I thought I just let you have it. Yeah, uh, right.
Um, no, so he is this esteemed producer who people really respect in a way that they never will me. And I got him to edit all of the fart and poo noises on that video. So that's really our first collaboration. That was amazing. Great yes. sound mix. He's Great. enacting change legislatively. Are you guys doing anything at all helpful? Mm. We, we, we make a lot of those fart videos too. Right, okay, right. that's what I, that's what I was going to say. I just wanted to give you a chance. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Jamila, for everything that you do with that. Oh, that's all right. I'm very loud. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so Thank much you for being for here. Thank you all for coming. You guys, yeah, you guys catch, flew. Catch Jamila, Jamila Jamil and the Tenderloins when the Misery Index premieres October 22nd on TBS.